Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will derive the LM curve graphically. So, you will get an idea how to derive the uh, LM curve. First of all, we take the four graphs. Let us say this is graph first, second, third, and fourth. In the first graph, we take uh, on the horizontal axis the speculative demand for money. Okay. On the vertical axis, we have the rate of interest. Okay. In the second graph, also we take here the speculative demand for money and on the horizontal, sorry, vertical axis, we have the transactionary demand for money in the second graph. In the third graph, we take here the transactionary demand for money and on the horizontal axis, we have the level of income. And in the last graph where we actually find the LM curve on this axis, we have the level of income on the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis, we have the rate of interest. Okay. That means in the first graph, we have the speculative demand function for the money. Okay. So in the first uh, uh, graph, we have the speculative demand for money. As we have seen that there is negative relationship between rate of interest and speculative demand for money. So this curve will be downward sloping, okay, because of the negative relationship between rate of interest and speculative demand for money. So I will write it here uh, somewhere. Uh, so if speculative demand for money, let us say if rate of interest increases, speculative demand for money will decrease, okay. So there is negative relationship. Let us uh, draw this very graph, okay. In the second uh, graph, it shows us the total money supply. That is, uh, division of the total money demand between uh, the, the speculative demand for money and transactionary demand for money, okay. So, this is also downward sloping. It shows us total money demand, which is... Uh, uh, broken into two parts that is transactionary demand for money and speculative demand for money the uh, the two of uh, this will give us the total money demand okay in the third graph we take the transactionary demand for money let us say this is our transactionary demand for money which is upward sloping because there is positive relationship between rate of income sorry uh, the level of income and transactionary demand for money as we know that if the money in increases the sorry if income increases transactionary demand for money will also increase so this is positive uh, sloping or it is upward sloping okay i hope i am making myself clear first in the first graph we take the rate of interest speculative demand for money there is negative relationship between them because as we have seen in the earlier video uh, if the rate of interest increases speculative demand for money will decrease in the second graph, we show the division of total money demand between transactionary demand for money and speculative demand for money. In the third graph, we take the spec, uh, transactionary demand for money. Okay, there is positive relationship between uh, level of income and transactionary demand for money. And in the last quadrant, we will rather uh, derive the LM curve. Okay. Let us say, for the sake of simplicity, we have the rate of interest uh, equal to, let us say we have the rate of interest, so I will show it on uh, with the, uh, another color. Let us say the rate of interest is 6%, okay? And we also assume that our total money supply is, total money supply is $100 million, okay? $100 or 100 million dollars whatever it is and it is fixed by the central authorities as we have seen in the earlier video let us say the rate of interest is six percent on six percent rate of interest we have the speculative demand for money let us say it is 50 okay on six uh, percent rate of interest speculative demand for money is 50 okay in the first graph now here in the second graph as we have seen on this horizontal axis we have the speculative demand for money that means here it is 50 then also okay why because since here it is 50 is the speculative demand for money in this graph we take 50 on the horizontal axis so here it is 50 
now uh, let us say it touches this very curve on this point okay now on this axis we have the transactionary demand for money since total money is equal to hundred dollars okay our speculative demand for money is 50 that means our transactionary demand for money should be also equal to 50 because this 50 plus 50 this is the demand for money this 50 plus 50 50 plus 50 should be equal to 100 that is this is demand for money should be equal to supply of money if speculative demand for money is 50 then our transactionary demand for money should be also equal to 50 to have the money market equilibrium okay i hope i am making myself clear now coming to this very graph let us say transactionary demand for money uh, this transactionary demand for money uh, we are given a function this is equal to 0 0.5 y why we have this very relationship between transactionary demand for money and level of income since on this axis we have so i will take this very since on this axis we uh, measure the transactionary demand for money which is 50 so here it is also 50 okay now if transactionary demand for money is 50 what will be the level of income when will be the transactionary demand for money equal to 50 so we will see from this very equation now if transactionary demand for money is 50 that is equal to 0.5 y so i will write here 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2 y or our y should be equal to 50 times 2 is equal to 100 that means our level of income should be equal to 100 uh, transactionary demand for money will be only equal to 50 when the level of income is 100 okay i hope i am making myself clear here now what will we do since on this axis vertical axis we have the rate of interest on horizontal axis we have the level of income so we will take this very six percent six percent here and this hundred here level of income here hundred and the intersection of these two pointers so i will show it here uh, the intersection of these two points that is six percent of the rate of interest and hundred dollars hundred dollars of income gives us uh, gives us a point on the lm curve rather it will give us the uh, lm uh, curve here okay now uh, coming back to the question let us say now the rate of interest decreases from six percent to five percent let us say it decreases to five percent okay let us say we have now five percent rate of interest as we have seen there is negative relationship between uh, rate of interest and speculative demand for money since on six percent rate of interest speculative demand for money was 50 then obviously on five percent rate of interest the speculative demand for money will be more let us say uh, it is here it is here 60 okay we have on five percent rate of interest the speculative demand for money is 60 dollars or million dollars whatever you say okay why there is negative relationship between uh, these very variables on six six percent there was fifty dollars on five percent there was sixty dollars okay now we take this 60 on since on this graph we take the speculative demand on the horizontal axis so we will t take this very point so this point is here sixty dollars okay now here the speculative demand for money is 60 okay then what will be the transactionary demand for money since speculative plus transactionary demand should be equal to 100 as we have assumed total money supply is 100 now since the speculative demand for money has increased to 60 then our uh, 
transactionary demand should decrease from uh, 50 to 40 to be back in the money market equilibrium since here it is to be seen clearly since the speculative demand for money has increased to 60 transactionary demand for money should decrease to 40 okay to be back in the money market equilibrium because we have assumed uh, total money supply is uh, equal to 100 here 50 plus 50 these two red 50 is used as 100 also these two black uh, numbers should also be equal to 100 since it, it uh, increases uh, then the transactionary demand for money should have decreased to be back into the equilibrium okay this 40 plus 60 should also be equal to 100 that is here if it was 50 it goes to 60 then this 40 then this 50 should decrease to 40 to be back in the money market equilibrium okay i hope i am making myself clear up to this now here we have transactionary demand for money on this axis we will take this because on the vertical axis we have transactionary demand for money so i will try to take it here so we here we have 40 as the transactionary demand for money now when will be the transactionary demand for money equal to 40 we will see by this very equation or i will write here transactionary demand for money is equal to 0 0.5 y okay now we have 40 as the transactionary demand for money it should be equal to now i will write 1 by 2 divided by y or y is equal to now 2 into 40 which is equal to 80 that means our level of income should be equal to 80 so here our y is equal to 80 okay now we take this very interest rate and this very level of income so the intersection of these two pointers here we have five percent and here we have this very point this is 80 okay so this point these two pointers gives us the these two pointers gives us gives us the lm curve this gives us the lm curve because as we know we need at least two pointers uh, to draw a line and we have assumed here the linear functions only we didn't take the lm as non-linear function for the sake of simplicity we take it as lm as um, rather we take it as a linear function so it is a straight line for uh, drawing a straight line we need two pointers so we got the two pointers so i will repeat briefly so every point first of all every point on this uh, this curve shows us a point where demand for money is equal to supply of money or lm lm curve is a different combination of rate of interest and income rate of interest and income different combinations where demand for money is equal to supply of money or lm curve shows us a locus of pointers on a line where each point shows us a demand for money is equal to supply of money okay i will repeat it here we have uh, we were told to draw the uh, lm curve graphically we take the four graphs in the first graph we take the uh, rate of interest and speculative demand for money okay in the second graph we have the transactionary demand for money and speculative demand for money and in the third graph we have transactionary demand for money and level of income and in the fourth graph we actually derive the lm curve okay first of all as we have seen that there is negative relationship between rate of interest and speculative uh, demand for money that means if the rate of interest increases a speculative demand for money should decrease that is speculative demand for money should decrease that is here we take first uh, the rate of interest six percent on six percent uh, rate of interest let us say the speculative demand for money was 50 here we have seen on this axis we have speculative demand for money so we have this 50 on this axis now if speculative demand for money is equal to 50 then our transactionary demand for money should also be equal to 50 because our total money supply is equal to 100 then 50 plus 50 will give us this 100 okay now on this axis we have transactionary demand for money we take this point on this because on the horizontal axis in this very transactionary demand for money function we have this tm on vertical axis 
Now, when will be uh, transactionary demand for money is equal to 50? We are given an equation here and we have solved it if tm is equal to here 50 now solving for rate uh, income we will get our income should be equal to 100 okay now we take this rate of interest and this very income and the intersection of these two points gives us a point on the lm curve okay now let us say that the rate of interest decreases from 6 to 5 if rate of interest decreases speculative demand for money should increase obviously because there is negative relationship between rate of interest and speculative demand for money when the speculative demand for money increases to 60 as we have seen in here our transactionary demand for money should decrease why because we should get these two numbers equal to 100 since our money supply is equal to 100 then this is transactionary demand for money this is speculative demand for money the addition of these two should also be equal to 100 since uh, it is here 60 it can't be here 50 then it will become 110 so this should decrease to 40 uh, to have an equilibrium between demand for money and supply of money so 60 plus 40 gives us 100 we get so we will write it, it here this shows us transactionary demand for money plus speculative demand for money should be equal to money supply okay now we take this uh, transactionary demand for money is equal to 40 and take in the third graph here we have 40 as uh, transactionary demand for money now when will be transactionary demand for money is equal to 40 okay we take 40 in this very equation we see uh, transactionary demand for money will be equal to 40 only when there is level of income equal to 80 so we take this 80 and this very interest rate we get another point these two points so now joining these two points will give us the lm equation okay i hope i make myself clear in this video there are very uh, very much interpretation of the results you i will try to show in the next videos when uh, will be the slope uh, change or the intercept change of the lm curve i hope i make myself clear thank you if you really like this video please subscribe like and comment if you can thank you